I know y'all on the red train lately for desktop PCs, given some of the issues that Team Blue has been facing. But numbers don't lie. Intel still holds a 71.3% market share. Are you confused by my accent? Because I am too. Which is why we still get messages and comments to recommend an Intel PC build. So we called Joy and they sent over their newest Joy Core Ultra 9 gaming PC for us to check out. But can this PC game, can it handle content creation workloads? Is it actually a good deal? I'ma spill the tea. And the tea is hot! Oh crap, now everybody's gonna know that I'm not Gen Z. See, your face already know la. Now we asked Joy to use the default shipping option for their customers when sending this PC out. The team forgot to film the unboxing process? But we did do a very thorough inspection for things like dents, scratches, you know, uh, loose cables or unseated components and this thing arrived in mint condition, so delivery was flawless. This particular PC is priced at 11,999 ringgit, which seems quite reasonable. We're gonna go through all the parts one by one, then tally up the prices to see if it's good bang for your buck before I let you know if you should run out to get one for yourself. Let's just dive right in. For the case, Joy went for an NZXT H7 Flow RGB mid tower case. You call this a mid tower? Nah, this thing is massive, okay? It's like an inch and a half taller than your average mid tower. Honestly, it's just a full tower in disguise. This thing's solid and comes pre built with three RGB fans. It has good interior airflow as well as ample clearance at the bottom for three additional intake fans. Easy to remove mesh panels that act as dust filters. Top IO that's clutch since you'll probably keep it on the floor and plenty of storage options. Oh, and Joy's cable management on point. No cap. Hey, so did I pass the Gen Z speech check? Nobela. And to be matchy matchy, they went with an NZXT Kraken 360AL liquid cooler with an LCD screen, which is one of the quietest and best performing coolers out there. Don't believe me? Just take a look at these numbers. While it's unsurprising for that CPU to stay under 60 Celsius or for that 3 fan GPU to be around 65 Celsius under gaming loads, that 81 Celsius max for that CPU at full load with our ADA64 stress test is not something you'd ever see with 14th gen Intel. This is largely thanks to a new tile-based architecture with Forveros packaging technology, a redesigned compute tile which places E-core clusters between P-cores and the omission of SMT or simultaneous multi-threading, also known as hyper-threading. What is even more surprising is how quiet everything is. This Joy Gaming Ultra PC was barely louder than when we had nothing running, even during full load. Well, nothing is overkill for our main character. The Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor that comes in with 8 P cores, 16 E cores for a total of 24 threads with a 5.7 GHz boost clock. It is quite a bit more power efficient than 14 gen Intel. And while Team Red might have it beat in some cases for gaming, especially in higher resolutions like 1440p and 4K, the GPU is what really matters most so just pick your poison. And just take a look at this MSI Mag Z890 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR5 motherboard. It has a 16 plus one plus one plus one stage multi-stage power design that's gonna provide stable power and overclocking headroom for that Core Ultra 9 processor. It also has a hell lot of lobangs at the belakang, like 10 USB ports and 5 gig LAN, uh, as well as good connectivity options for both work and play. Let's take a look at part one of our productivity benchmarks. Now, even with no hyper-threading with these new Arrow Lake CPUs, Intel is definitely killing it in productivity workloads. Just look at their Cinebench scores. The multi-cores is a decent 10-12% to faster than last gen. This is currently one of the best CPUs for 3D animation or modeling in software like Blender. It can even bridge the gap between consumer processors and the much more expensive workstation or server-grade stuff uh, in CPU rendering if needed as seen in our V-Ray scores. We're gonna talk shop a little more after we introduce our next guest because this is a group effort. 
Moving on to the support character or other main character depending on what you're doing, the graphics card. Joy went for the triple fan MSI RTX 4070 Ti Super 16 GB Ventus 3X OC. 16 GB of VRAM is quite future proof for new games coming out in the next few years uh, in 1440p or at least 1080p. Also, right now at the same price, the 4070 Ti Super is a no-brainer because even though the RX 7900 XT can technically keep up with it, Nvidia still has better ray tracing performance as well as more matured uh, upscaling and frame generation with DLSS. On top of that, CUDA is still preferred for most productivity tasks, so team green it is. Which brings us to part 2 of productivity benchmarks. So with 16GB of VRAM on the RTX 4070 Ti Super, this PC is going to be able to handle most content creation and 3D workloads as seen on this table uh, that we got from CG Director. We're seeing solid numbers in both V-Ray and Blender for GPU rendering. This PC should also be able to handle game dev and virtual production workloads in Unreal Engine with no issues. For content creators, no matter if you're editing photos in Photoshop, editing video videos in Video Shop, I mean Premiere Pro, or color grading in Color Shop, I mean DaVinci Resolve, this PC is going to perform very well. One advantage with this Intel Core Ultra 9285K over Intel's last gen is the dedicated NPU that is going to be super efficient in running AI workloads, which is getting more and more utilized for creative work such as image generation, photo editing, as well as video editing. Now of course, since Joy calls this a gaming PC, I'm gonna show you some performance numbers, starting with 3D Mark, which shows us the pure rasterization power of our CPU and GPU combo. In fact, this PC actually ranked second compared to other PCs with the same exact specs in 3D Mark's database. Now ain't that something? So I just won silver for Malaysia, so does that mean that next week got holiday? Jokes aside, you can expect to game in older AAA titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Red Dead Redemption 2, or Witcher 3 in ultra settings up to 4K at 60fps or higher. Even newer titles like Baldur's Gate 3 which is less graphically demanding would be able to play smoothly in 4K. Of course, our Core Ultra 9 and 4070 Ti Super combo is gonna be overkill for esports titles like Valorant, but if you're running games that are more demanding than let's say your mother-in-law like Cyberpunk 2077, you might have to lower your graphic settings or use DLSS for 4K. Honestly, with this PC, it will be a sin to not turn on RTX and game in 4K. Jackie will be rolling in his grave. Even Siri will be laughing at your noobness. Now let's move on to memory. Of course, we also get 32GB of RAM, which is the new standard for gaming rigs thanks to DDR5. It's not the fastest that Intel can support, but it's easier on your bank account. For gaming, going any higher than 6000 or 6400 MHz yields very minimal FPS gains, so I think that this is a good choice. For storage, Joy also went matchy matchy with a Kingston PCIe Gen 4 drive. PCIe Gen 4 does run a little hot, but our motherboard has a quick release, two free beefy heat sink. So that's matku, matku, selalu. That is a monkey that is so cool that it existed before you were born. Oh yeah, it runs pretty fast too. Powering everything is a very appropriately specced deep cool 750 watt full modular power supply. This is gonna be fine even if you upgrade your GPU like up one tier probably. So let's talk about value for money. As promised, we tallied up the prices for all these individual parts with the cheapest options from a reputable sellers on Shopee, which is not from any of the dodgy ones now, okay? And even if you discount labor, which should be about 200 bucks because you should pay your PC builders, you're still saving about 2,000 ringgit with this PC. And they're all quality parts too. None of that chop IM stuff that you stuff into your PC. Now, these PCs don't come with Windows installed, so you would need to do that yourself. But DIY is the easiest thing you ever do. DIY is everywhere. You see, Mr. DIY is everywhere, okay? Uh, but it's a simple affair that Dr. Google should be able to help you with. If you cannot do that, then you just play console, you just play PS5. However, 
I do have some criticism about the component choices. What kind of video would this be without some criticism? Huh? Number one, in my opinion, because my opinion matters, if they wanted to build a gaming PC, they should have put in a Core Ultra 7 processor and use a 240mm cooler and potentially a cheaper motherboard, maybe? And that should knock the price down to just under 10,000 ringgit. And number two, as a PC for creative work, I would love to see two drives, okay, two separate drives, one 500 gig for the OS as well as applications, and another one terabyte for working files. I might even bump up the RAM to 64 gigabyte, uh, since this PC is already 11,999 ringgit or 12,000 ringgit, which is at the price point where people would probably be very easily convinced to tamba lagi a little bit and go up to 14,000, 15,000 because they won't mind spending a little bit bit more for a more optimized PC for better productivity. Otherwise, I think this is still a very good deal. For those who are looking for a more budget-friendly option, there is also a version at half the cost. So that half the cost version comes with a Core Ultra 5 and a 4060 Ti Super instead of the 4070 Ti that we have here. And a smaller case. Because if you don't have budget for a big PC like this, then you probably are living in a smaller place. You see, it rhymes. Seems pretty good for 1440p and also 1080p gaming. So don't feel bad. Lah. Today no money doesn't mean tomorrow no money. Oh yeah, I think they also have a bunch of buy first, think later options that are available. Wink. Why did I say wink when I wink? To recap, here are the pros, mechs and cons of this Joy Core Ultra 9 gaming PC. I give this PC a hashtag cheap buy, giving gamer, giving content creator, giving main character vibes, 8.5 out of 10. You think 9s and 10s so easy to give out one ah? Lin Bei is an Asian dad, I'm not that easy. So in conclusion, I've been running an Intel Core Ultra 9 build like this one, not this exact one ah, for the past few weeks now and have found it pretty much rock solid for the most part. Intel definitely still has ways to go to regain consumer evidence as evidence. Confidence! This is what happens when you OT, when you OD. <laughs> Jokes aside, I would personally still run a couple of Intel builds in my rotation. Why leh? I need one to stop my door, I need one PC to be paperweight, I need one to hold my door for my wife, I need one for my wife, I need one for my home, one for my media PC, one for my mother's room, one for my father's room, and then two for my office, and one for us, right? Like that. In my opinion, this particular PC bundle from Joy is a good place to start spreading some joy. Now that prices are getting more competitive, I do recommend this PC for anyone who wants a PC for 1440p and even 4K gaming if you lower the settings a little bit uh, or use DLSS. Especially if they do creative work and can benefit from that extra juice from the Core Ultra 9 processor. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal. What more do you want me to say? Go and buy that. Click the links in the description. Don't worry, Joy is from SNS Distribution. They are a listed company. They won't con you on. I like some of the other Shopee stores that don't have listed status. It's like a verified setting, you know. Tick. Like that, then you know, Joy. Tokong. And that is everything I have to say about this Joy Core Ultra 9 gaming PC. If you have any questions regarding this PC, please leave a comment down below. If you find this video helpful, leave a like and share this video out to all your friends because I know they're all curious about what you think or what I think. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell harder than you hit the gym. And follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sao and Shane. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>